process took one hour and 30 minutes. So I would say we did pretty good. All right, so today is going to be a very short special video. And that special video is me doing a self portrait. And a lot of this was just done very last minute. And so if you're wondering why it looks unfinished, let's just say it's a quick study. Um, a quick study, exactly. So as I'm talking, I am going through and just laying out all the quick details of the background so that it's just not me. It's not my portrait literally floating in the void. Anyways, the most, what do you call it? The part that I struggled with the most is literally the background. Because the thing is, I don't do a lot of background studies. And I don't work quickly. So, I had a very hard time. Literally the hardest time that I had because I don't do environment studies. And so, it's hard for me to lay down the foundation without going into detail. And so this is why I just did a very quick one. And I would say that if I had gone through and did the fencing and all the details for the background, that would have taken me another two hours. But in total, the whole time that I drew, that I was um, doing this quick study, the painting, the whole process took one hour and 30 minutes so I would say we did pretty good and with that I had a very I had a very fun time even though I kind of okay hold on even though I kind of struggled like a lot there are a lot of differences in like anatomy and sizing, but I would say overall, I kind of captured the energy a lot, very well, I would say. And the part that I'm most proud of, honestly, is that I'm able to even do this because not a lot of people would even do this. Like it's all personal preference that people enjoy doing these um, self-portrait studies in the first place and I'm just at a point in my art journey that I feel like it's just a form of self-care it's a form of appreciation for how far I've come because I as many of us do deal with imposter syndrome and with imposter syndrome you constantly are comparing yourself and feeling like you're just um, like you're not legit, that you feel that all the artists that you look up to have made it and have, you know, they're, they're at a farther point in their life than you are. And with that said, I would say that I've come a pretty long way. And the part that I'm also very proud of is just the, the shading, because even though the shading can be a bit questionable, I, I was really working hard on trying to make the shadows not dull and neutral. I wanted to give it some life. And so I literally went out of my way to figure out, you know, like, like a more red hue for the shadows. Because a lot of the time it's literally dull, neutral grays. And even though that's... Um, a good thing like sometimes that's what what the art calls for but for this one I wanted to copy the you know like the the life of the drawing I guess but anyways like I feel like I, I accomplished that I feel like I'm getting better with lighting and I have done a lot of environment studies more than I have in the 10 years that I've been drawing. But anyways, the main part is that this was done for myself and on my birthday. Because last year, 
from today, I did a self-portrait study. And I think I want to make this like a... I want to make this like a tradition. Or maybe even a ritual. Because... I'm at a point where I feel that I'm confident in myself and in my art that I can do this. And I'm just sort of proud of myself. Even though it kind of... It's like in the... This self-portrait is like uncanny valley for me. It doesn't look like me, but it has the energy of me, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't look one-on-one like me, but... It, it captures the energy, and I did this in an hour and a half, and I'm proud. And if this motivated you to do one yourself, I wish you good luck. And if not, just remember this is like this is up to preference. You don't have to do self portrait studies, but I would say I learned a lot from this, and I would have I would also have to say that it was very cool to just see this um over a short period of time and so i just want to say thank you for watching the video and thank you for supporting me on my birthday um if you want to leave some birthday wishes in the comments feel free to otherwise thank you so much for just supporting me and watching my videos it means a lot even if it's just one person or regardless thank you and i hope you have a good day and peace out girl scout <laughs> Love you. Bye. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I love this. I feel like it would be even better if I added the patterns of the ice cream popsicles and the elephants. Popsicles on the shirt and elephants on the bottom. Anyways, thank you. Peace out, Girl Scout.